For some building owners, sustainable design may seem out of reach. Luckily, some sustainable strategies can be added to any project, often at no additional cost to the owner. In this video, we are going to go over those strategies and how they can help your project become more sustainable. My name is Jesse Bowman, and I'm an architect here at Newman Munson. At Newman Munson, sustainability is one of our top priorities. Our in-house green team works to integrate sustainable design into every project we undertake, and we are here to share our insights with anyone wanting to build green. In this video, you will learn about six no-cost sustainable techniques you can integrate into any project, including selecting the right site, orientating the building for passive solar exposure, improving insulation, utilizing natural ventilation, purchasing energy-efficient appliances and fixtures, and managing construction waste. After watching this video, you will be better prepared to talk to your architect and contractor about implementing these techniques into your project design. Site selection plays a key role in reducing a project's carbon footprint and improving occupant well-being. The ideal building site is a dense area that can be easily accessed by foot, bike, or public transportation. Locating buildings in a walkable area encourages sustainable forms of transportation and reduces the carbon footprint caused by commuting and gas-powered vehicles. The building site should also feature trees that can be planted or protected during construction. In areas with extreme yearly temperature changes, trees offer many benefits. In the summer, they provide shade and keep buildings cool. When they lose their leaves in the winter, they let natural light in, helping to passively heat the building. Depending on their position, trees can also provide a natural barrier against harsh winter winds. These simple strategies help buildings maintain a more sustainable interior temperature. Building orientation also helps manage interior temperatures. Ideally, a building should sit along the east-west axis and be orientated towards the south. By taking advantage of the sun's seasonal position, you are likely to stay cool in warmer months and warm in cooler months. This technique also improves occupant comfort and reduces or eliminates glare. East and west facing glazing can create harsh glares and uncontrolled heat gain unless extensive external sunshades are implemented. This technique can also greatly reduce your utility cost. For example, Dyersville Elementary reduced its utility cost by an estimated 15% simply by maximizing the southern exposure while creating a glare-free and naturally daylight classroom. Investing in the proper amount of insulation also leads to utility savings. Continuous insulation can greatly reduce the likelihood of drafts and maintain a more stable interior temperature, reducing the chance that someone will turn up the thermostat. During summer and winter months, improved insulation strategies offer owners more resiliency if their mechanical system fails during extreme weather. An owner may also want to consider adding more insulation. While this will increase your upfront cost, it may have many benefits. First, occupants will have more comfortable environment, which promotes a better productivity and well-being. Secondly, when the design team works closely together, they may be able to offset the additional costs by reducing the mechanical system. Lastly, you should see a return on investment through utility savings. Keep in mind, insulation should be balanced with the project type and mechanical system to receive a return on your investment. Some buildings, like schools, need to circulate air at high rates. At some point, adding ins extra insulation is not likely to reduce the HVAC system, but may still have benefits for occupant comfort. In contrast, smaller buildings, especially residential projects, extra insulation is always a sound investment for reducing energy bills and increasing comfort. Perhaps the best way to reduce energy consumption is simply shutting off the mechanical system and opening the windows. The amount of financial return on operable windows depends on your climate and building type. For example, a building in Southern California can take advantage of natural ventilation more often than a building in the Midwest. At the same time, some building types are required by code to constantly circulate air through a mechanical system, so operable windows are not likely to contribute to energy savings. In any climate or building type, however, operable windows benefit the occupants. Studies show that occupants who have access to fresh air and sunlight experience reduced stress levels and improved mood, 
and these benefits are priceless. Energy consumption is not limited to heating and cooling costs. For further savings, invest in energy efficient fixtures and appliances. Energy Star rated appliances, low flow water fixtures, and LED lights are usually no more expensive than less efficient alternatives. In a typical single family home, a low flow toilet can save over 20,000 gallons of water a year. A building's construction also contributes to its total carbon footprint especially when it comes to waste. According to the Environmental Protection Agency, construction and demolition projects filled U.S. landfills with almost 145 million tons of waste in 2018. To reduce the project's environmental impact, your contractor can implement recycling and composting protocols. Your architect can also recommend recyclable products that have little to no cost impact. In most cases, responsible waste management practices are at no additional project cost. Sometimes, they may even be cost positive, meaning the contractor can earn money back for recycling materials. Once the building is completed, continuing recycling and composting practices are a sure way to decrease your environmental impact. Buildings are responsible for nearly 40% of carbon emissions, showcasing the importance of responsible, sustainable architecture. Using these six sustainable practices can decrease energy consumption, improve occupant well-being, and minimize waste. In addition to sustainable design, you can reduce your operational costs by choosing low maintenance, durable materials. For more tips, click the link in the description to read our guide to life cycle cost. Thanks for watching.